Hello world, and welcome to this edition of Tech on Fire with Blaze. I'm Blaze Stewart, Architect at One Elect, and today we're going to be looking at SFTP on Azure Blob Storage, which is a preview feature that allows you to use the SFTP protocol to upload and download files. Hi guys, today I'm going to do a video on another preview feature on Azure, and this is SFTP access to blob storage. Now, we've been wanting FTP access to blob storage for the better part of 10 years because it just seemed to be one of those things that was obvious whenever you have online storage. SFTP is pretty much how the world had moved files around between systems prior to many of the available cloud services. And we were using it in the Linux and Windows context before most folks would go to the cloud. But even now, I'm glad to get it, even though it might seem a little bit late, because it's going to open up a lot of possibilities for integrating workloads into blob storage beyond what was available through something like a fuse driver on Linux or using something like the APIs or NFS. This is one that is going to enable a lot of the existing clients and existing frameworks and existing software to connect to blob storage without the need to use specialized APIs. So I think this is going to have a lot of potential use cases for data ingestion and integrations with a ton of services. So I'm kind of excited about it. And that's the reason I wanted to do a video on it. So in this video, I just want to look at the feature, walk through how to set it up, and then do a brief demonstration using some software on Windows to you know simply move some files up and list those files. And then we'll uh, wrap it up with that. So I'm here in the Azure portal, and the first thing I'm going to need to do is enable this particular preview. If you've never enabled it, it's pretty straightforward to do. You just go to your subscriptions, and then in your subscriptions, you can pick any subscription that you have and just come over here to preview features. And under preview features, uh, you will get a list of av currently available preview features. Um, these are the ones that you can check, and you just type in FTP and that will filter the, the list and you check that box there and click register. I'm already registered. So you just click register and it'll register the, uh, the service. And that's the provider that will basically enable you to use this particular feature on blob storage accounts. And so I'm back here on the dashboard for Azure and I'm going to create a resource now. Um, now that I've got the feature enabled, I'm going to create a storage account. And uh, I'm just going to walk through the screens for this. It's already turned on the portal so that you can light it up there. So I'm going to choose the, the storage account that I'm going to be using, which is this uh, 025 right here. I'm going to create a resource group, we'll call it Blaze FTP or something like that. And um, for this, uh, I'm going to create a new one, not default, uh, FTP one or something like that. And then for the storage account name, that should be fine. And you choose a demo uh, region that this demo will work in, and that's uh, currently it's supported in each US2. You can use standard or premium for the performance. Standards are going to be fine for this demo, and uh, local redundant storage or geo redundant storage um, should be fine for what we're doing for this particular one. I'm going to use LRS, and the options up here you can leave as is. The real trick to making this light up is clicking this checkbox right here, enable hierarchical namespaces, and that's going to enable the data lake feature. And that basically allows you to have folder structure inside of the storage account. Now with this, I'm going to click on enable SFTP and this will allow me to create the feature and I can then go through the rest of these to get to create and run a validation. And once everything is up and running, click create and then come back when that finishes. Now that that's done, I'm going to go to the resource and this is where I can start setting stuff up. So this is pretty straightforward right here. If I'm going to go to the uh, containers, this is where I'm going to create my first container right here. And I'm going to call it, let's just call it files or something like that, FTP files. Um, and that's the container I want to have for it and just click OK. And that's going to create a blob storage container. And all of the magic that makes this happen is right here under this tab uh, for SFTP. Now, it, for this, it supports basically two kinds of users as of right now. And these are local users. They're, there's no integration with Azure AD as of yet. So these are basically just maintaining ACLs using this particular uh, panel right here, where you can you know, create this through ARM. But we're just going to add a local user and you can give it a username. I'm going to call it Blaze. And you can use public uh, keys uh, for SSH or you can use password. I'm just going to check password here. 
uh, for now. And then the container permissions is you can choose the container and then you can choose the, the permissions you want to give, read, write, list, delete, create, and just choose them all for this. And then you got to give it a home directory. Now this is a little bit uh, squirrely right here. What to do this right here, you basically have to have the name of the container and a directory in the container for the so-called home folder. So I called mine FTP files uh, for that. And if I create a folder called blaze in that, that will be the home folder for the particular logged on user. So FTP files slash blaze in that you have to put the container name, even though you choose the container right here to choose a home folder. So I'm going to click add and that is going then to create the user. And it's going to generate this password right here. You can choose to you know, view it and then copy it into the memory or you can copy it right there. So once you have that done, you can close that out. And now we're ready to set up a client to connect to this. And this is uh, pretty straightforward. So I'm going to pop up when uh, SCP here, and you can use FileZilla, you can use a command line, you can use uh, any, any type of client. The username, if uh, you go back over here to the portal and you look at this right here, it's going to give you the connection string. Uh, you know, it's really the, the username at the, the host name. So I'm going to paste this up here into the host name. And then I'm going to remove the at symbol here and then copy and cut and paste the username right here. So the, the host name is the same for the, the, the blob storage endpoint. So it would be, you know, blaze FTP demo blob blob core dot windows at net. And then the username is going to be the storage account name and then the username that you created. So before we do this, I'm going to go back over to the storage account and create the home folder inside of the container that I created just a second ago. So if I come over here to uh, containers and I'm going to create a container right here called, um, blaze, I think is what I created, uh, called that, that folder. And, uh, once you have all that configured, you should be able to click log in and then you will say, yes, I'm going to accept the keys here and you will now see the folders right here. Um, and you can up and upload and download files to, uh, some, you know, shots I was taking of the lunar eclipse, I guess. And those will, will start uploading to, uh, that particular folder. And so, the, the, the throughput in this is going to be measured in megabytes per second. Um, so it's going to uploading um, about 1.3 megabytes per second. You know, so multiply that times H for megabits per second. So it's not exactly you know the fastest thing in the world, but it, it does get the job done. So we'll come back when this is finished uploading these files. Okay, now that those are uploaded, I should be able to come back over to the Azure portal and let's go ahead and see if we got those uploaded. So I'm going to come over here to my containers and um, click on FTP files and then come into this one. And we see those same files listed here as we did in WinSCP, which is here. So let's go ahead and delete a few of these and delete these six files. And that's going to delete those. So I should have just a single file left over here inside of this particular folder right here. So I'm going to hit refresh. And that's what I see exactly that. So you can see how that you can use Azure, uh, FTP for blob storage in the same way that you would use it with the APIs or whether you're using it through NFS, you get a lot of variability now because of this protocol. And I'm excited to see it come into a GA state because that means that we're going to be able to use it for a ton of applications that wouldn't otherwise be able to connect to blob storage without the need for some kind of API integration. So this is just a really nice feature to have now with blob storage. If you like this content, please consider checking us out online at www.windelect.com where you can find several blog entries about topics related to Microsoft Azure and software development. And you can also subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button below and then clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications when new content becomes available. Until next time, thanks.